Why hello there internet and welcome back to Gaming Mysteries and today I'll be talking about the science of Mortal Kombat fatalities and how they're linked to modern and ancient life. As to avoid confusion I'm going to split these into different parts for each character fatality. So let's get into the episode. Who doesn't love the Sub-Zero Freeze fatality? It is one of the most recognized fatalities of all time in the Mortal Kombat games. Though some think it is very unrealistic. I mean, come on, why would a person freeze like that and explode? Yet, it may actually make some sort of sense. Basic biology tells us that we are made of 65% of water, and that there is water contained in all of our cells. Liquid nitrogen freezes at negative 346 degrees Fahrenheit, and water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, if Sub-Zero were to breathe a substance such as liquid nitrogen into a person's body, it would literally make that person flash freeze, causing them to just be encased in a block of ice. But the cold would make them so fra their body so fragile that just a punch and what that person was would crumble into pieces. But yet there's more. When water freezes, there's a strange phenomenon where it expands by around 10% when it's in its solid form. This would technically make the person bloat from inside their cells. And just the immense cold alone would cause the person to go into hypothermic shock and cause their heart to shut down near instantly. This would literally be killing a person through their own cells. Call me a sadist, but that sounds pretty cool. Okay, this is two-party because both of these are relatively the same thing. Seeing as both are the use of shooting an element out of one's body, First I will start with the steam fatality. Now steam, as we all know, is created when water starts to boil. And if you don't know, then why are you watching this video about Mortal Kombat? This stuff is way too mature for you. Go back to daycare. The average heat of steam sits at around 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The average human skin will melt when exposed to temperatures of 162 degrees or above. Though this is only when exposed on the outside. In the fatality, the steam is pushed through the inside of the body. This would effectively roast the vital organs along with the skin. Hey mama, looks like we found a new way to make us some Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> All redneck notions aside, this would make it even easier and more plausible that the person would melt from the inside out. Now the lightning hands fatality. Lightning is surprisingly not a very powerful thing. An average of only 10,000 people die of lightning strikes a year. While this may seem like a lot, it's really not, because there's an average of 1.4 billion lightning strikes each year. That means you have the percent chance of point zero 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 seven of getting hit by lightning every year. That's almost as little of a chance as Blast Joe has of winning a boxing match. I bet Raiden's rethinking his choice of power right now. The worst lightning has ever done is blow a man's feet off one year, but they even found that guy had large amounts of iron in his stomach, so that barely counts. Though if concentrated for a long time on a particular spot, it could blow a man's head off, but it's not nearly as effective as, say, Scorpion's fire breath, which is much quicker and deadlier. Though in the aspect of realism, short of being a Sith Lord, I don't think many people are capable of shooting lightning out of their hands. Oh god, this fatality is a classic, yet especially gruesome. I mean, the guy rips out the other's still beating heart with his bare hands. But it's not that gruesome to the Aztecs. Between the 14th and 16th centuries, the people of the sun, also known as the Aztecs, 
lived in Mesoamerica, or central Mexico as it is known today. Some may know that the Aztecs are very in touch with their gods. It is said that the Aztecs' gods sacrificed themselves so that humans should live on, though it came with a contingency. There must be a sacrifice every year to honor these gods. These rituals would consist of a priest sacrificing people to the gods by making an incision below the heart in which he would stick his hand and would take out this still beating heart. And in the case of Molina, a lot of the times the priest would indulge in cannibalism to appease the god of hunger. Really messed up, right? Well, it gets even worse. You know how Shiva has a thing for ripping people's skins off? Well, so did the Aztecs. Sometimes, after the heart was removed, the Aztec priest would remove the skin of the person sacrificed in honor of the god Zepe Totec, the god who is said to have sacrificed his skin for the humans. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. Even after the skin was removed, the priest would wear it, like a jacket, for a full 20 days. I mean... Talk about your Sunday best. There have been many instances of death by melting in movies and games, but one that seems so awesome is reptiles. He literally melts a person with his own breath. I mean, that's pretty freaking cool. Though could this actually be done in real life? So many people would say no. No man can become a lizard. I mean, what is this? A circus show? Though surprisingly this could actually make sense. There's an animal that resides near Indonesia. It's called the Komodo dragon. In its saliva, it has over 50 different types of bacteria, which can paralyze and poison animals and humans, making the species extremely dangerous. Also, it stands at around 6 feet tall on its hind legs, resembling a human. And for those that have not graduated third grade and don't understand how to use logic, this obviously links to a reptile's character, because the Komodo dragon is a reptile. And finally, is the arm rip of Mortal Kombat possible? Well, it's all contingent on the strength, position, and bone structure of each of the fighters. Many people have certainly had their arms ripped off in war or other sort of stupid mistakes, though could it be done simply by another person? Now it takes over 1,000 pounds of force to sever an arm at the joint, but the average human normally can exert anywhere from 125 to 200 pounds of force when at maximum potential. But that's not counting that everyone who enters the Mortal Kombat tournament is a steroid ingested freak. Though it's actually possible to exert anywhere from 185 to 235 pounds of force from jaw and tooth strength. So if you think about it, the better way of ripping off an arm would actually be to bite it off. But for the purpose of sticking to the basics, let's stay with pulling. Now there's a different factor of angle and bone strength. If someone were to put another on the ground, and place their foot in the midst of the other's shoulder blade, and pull at an upward angle on the arm, it would be very easy to sever the arm from the bone. Though, for some, like Shiva, who have four arms, that would technically cause her to have four times the power, making it possible for her to exert between 700 and 900 pounds of force, making it very plausible for it to work if she were to rip in a downwards motion as to gain the greatest torque. Well, that's the end of today's Gaming Mysteries, guys. And please check back next time to stay informed on all the weirdest news you could ever find in any type of gaming YouTube channel. And until then, I'll see y'all later. Potential.